Who says that the desert and the chaparral can't be beautiful and flowerful? Right now, you're looking at a penstemon in bloom. Behind that, the blues, we've got some bees bliss. That's a sage. We've got some native yellow wildflowers mixed in in here. Anything that's really nice looking gets to stay. And we have coming into bloom here, some Jerusalem sage, which is not a sage, it's a flomus. Great plants. If we look over on this side, I've got some Spanish lavender in full bloom. We pass by a little bit of a, well, we did invite this one into the garden, even though it wasn't super drought tolerant, just because it gets cold enough here to grow lilacs. And there's nothing like the smell of lilacs. This one is a special cultivar that does well in warmer climates. It's one of the Descanso hybrid, hybrids. But as we go over here, you get to see some Centranthus or Jupiter's beard. We have it in red growing on the hillside and we have it in white. And one more little stop while we're in this corner of my garden. We have some lovely Pacific Coast hybrid irises. Take a look at the designs and the flowers and the colors. I even have one in this really kind of neat butterscotch color.